Yeah, so what we're doing today, of course, I'm sure you guys know we have turtles in the harbour. Maybe you think we only have a few, but actually we're a we've seen over 200 already from january to this point which is really exciting on their heads we can recognize each individual from a pattern like our fingerprint so they're all unique and that's how we can tell the differences and this is how we know we've had over 200. today we are doing a tagging event so we are finding turtles that are not tagged by us and we're placing tags on so two external metal tags which you can see one of them here Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. and we're also placing an internal microchip, what you put in your cats and dogs. Okay, exactly mm -hmm. the same. Exactly. So you, you it, have it's not a satellite tracker. Unfortunately, we can't we can't do that. Um, it's very expensive, and we haven't got that ability yet. One day, hopefully, we will. But these microchips will be are more permanent than the external metal tags because the metal tags are subject to wear and tear, so they could be caught up or fall off or. So basically Whatever. now the microchips don't do anything. The microchips, yes, yeah, so when, the, when they come out of the water, we can scan it. Even yeah. if they don't have the metal tag, right. we can still understand which turtle it is, mm -hmm. as long as it's it's one of ours. Yeah. Um, what was really cool was last week, we had a turtle out of the water that had a microchip from a different organization. And so we were now communicating with them to find out where this turtle was seen originally. Maybe in Zakynthos, maybe um, in Anambrakikos, because they do a big tagging project there as well. So. We're taking the measurements of all the turtles today so we can understand their ages. Um, and we're also placing, you can see there's a number on, so this turtle is number 90. This is the 90th turtle that we've had out of the water this year. So we've yeah. been really busy. Um, this was just like nail polish. So it, we've just buffed the carapace, the shell, placed the number on and it will fall off within probably in a couple of weeks. Um, and so it's not permanent and it just allows us to ID the turtles. It allows you guys, if you guys saw a turtle swimming around and you saw a number on it, it would be great if you could send us a message to let us know. So we know who comes into the harbor every single day. That's what we're doing. Um, yeah, right now. Uh, let's see how old can, um, do they grow? So they can get to around 70 years, but because of anthropogenic activity, so human influences, what we do to the water, um, it's reduced massively. So we say roughly their average lifespan is now 33 years. Um, so it's dropped massively. Which um, is a shame. It's exactly. They could get up to 70. Yeah, so our largest turtle that we have ever recorded, that was four years ago, um, He, we took him out of the water, we measured him at 93 centimeters long, so he was pretty big. Um, and then two weeks later, he had been hit by a boat and he, he died. So the biggest turtle we'd ever recorded, the oldest, died because of human influences. So it happens, but what we're doing now is working to protect and make sure when the turtle's out of the water we make sure they're free from any hooks, lines, any foreign objects um, and give them the all clear. And uh, let's say the size you said is about uh, 90 centimeters you said? Big one. So that's a big one. That's a big one yeah. So this one like, um, let's say uh, usual size of a... Uh, anywhere between 65 to 80 is like kind of normal. If you're going above 80 you're getting some big turtles and, and below uh, 65 we've got juveniles so they hit sexual maturity between 15 to 25 years of age so it takes them a while to finally reproduce themselves so it's really important that we catch them in these early stages make sure they're healthy and fit um, so they start to prepare and get ready to 